for this example, we want to analyze two problems involving power series. So for the first one, we want to find the interval convergence for a given power series here. There's 1 over 4 to the n times x minus 2 all to the nth power. Now the way we go about these problems is using the ratio test on the terms of the power series. So over the ratio test here, I want to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio of connective terms. So the n plus first term is going to be x minus 2 to the n plus 1 over 4 to the n plus 1 divided by x minus 2 to the n over 4 to the n. I can cancel things out here. This becomes limit as n goes to infinity of epsilon value of x minus 2 over 4 because the n plus 1 and the n cancel here to put one factor on top. The n plus 1 and the n cancel here to get me one factor of 4 on the bottom. So this limit here is just x minus 2 over 4. Now if I want this series to converge, I need this to be less than 1. So I can then rewrite this in equality and interval notation. This tells that absolute value of x minus 2 should be less than 4, or negative 4 is less than x minus 2 is less than 4, or adding 2 to everything, negative 2 less than x less than 6. So as a base interval, I have minus 2 to 6 from analytical convergence. Now with these, we also have to check the endpoints. So what happens at the endpoints here? Well, if I look at my expression here, if I were to plug in minus 2, I have the sum n from 1 to infinity of 1 over 4 to the n minus 2 minus 2 to the n. This becomes a sum n from 1 to infinity of minus 4 to the n over 4 to the n, which is just the sum n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, which that just alternates minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. The terms don't go to 0, so this diverges. We can check the same thing at the other endpoint of 6. In that case, I get sum n from 1 to infinity, 1 over 4 to the n, 6 minus 2 to the n, which is going to be sum n from 1 to infinity of 4 to the n over 4 to the n, which is the sum of 1, which also diverges by the same reasoning. Therefore, this power series converges absolutely on the interval and diverges at both endpoints. So for a final answer here, the interval of convergence is just the open interval from minus 2 to 6. Even though neither endpoint worked, we still had to check it because it could have worked for a different power series. Now, for part two, we wanted to find a power series expansion of the function x to the fifth over five minus x squared. And the main trick you wanna use here is to use power series expansion that we already know. That's gonna be our key trick towards working this out. The one that we already know that looks like this expression here is just our one over one minus x. So the fact that we know already is that for any u that I wanna plug in, 1 over 1 minus u can be represented as the series from 0 to infinity of u to the n. That's our base fact to build from for doing this sort of expansion. So I want to manipulate this so it looks like 1 over 1 minus u for some u. So what I can do is I can write x to the fifth over 5 minus x squared as x to the fifth times 1 over 5 minus x squared. That puts the one on top, which I like. And then I can factor a five out of the bottom and put that under the x to the fifth. So I'll see an x to the fifth over five times a one over one minus x squared over five. And now this right here is gonna be our u. So that means I can use my default power series expansion to expand out that part in parentheses. So I'll still have my x to the fifth over five in front and then times my series expansion, n from 0 to infinity, of x squared over 5 to the n. Or x to the fifth over 5 series from 0 to infinity, x to the 2n over 5 to the n. That would work for an answer. I can also then put this term back inside the sum to get that a final answer here would look like the series n from 0 to infinity 
of x to the 2n plus 5 over 5 to the n plus 1. So that's how you work out interval convergence for a power series, as well as figure out a power series expansion for a function by using previously known power series and manipulating them to get to the function that you want to see for your expansion.